Good day students and welcome back to computer practice with Mr. H and we are continuing with question 6 but we are specifically focusing on formula formula D inserting a formula to show spark lines but also we're going to discuss multiple ways of how you can create spark lines so first of all let's jump in to the spark line we want to find out which which option is the most popular now the question actually specifies that we have to use a formula to do that normally you would just use insert and then you have your spark lines over here that we will do in the next few minutes but let's discuss the formula there is a specific formula that you can make use of but this is not necessarily always going to be the case and that formula is the repetition formula where you are going to repeat a certain symbol or letter that eventually will create a sort of a chart so repetition formula so equals r e p t rep so R E P T open bracket open bracket and then you insert a inverted comma and inverted commas is used when you want to use a letter of the alphabet in a formula or even just to, when you want to insert a space in a formula like in the concatenate formula that we did earlier so then we have the inverted comma you're going to insert a space you're going to insert a line and you're going to insert another space and then an inverted comma you're going to press semicolon and then you want to create 68 lines of this particular symbol. This symbol that I used is on your keyboard just above the forward slash or the backward slash, just above the backward slash. And then you close your, your formula and you click OK. And you will see that you will have then 68 lines but this one is pretty long so what we're going to do is we're going to remove the spaces so instead of using the spaces we're going to remove the spaces we're going to press enter and there is our chart without spaces and what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy the formula so now I can clearly see which one is the most popular choice. Okay, so that was the that is the formula that you can use if we are just going to work in this particular column. But what if I have a different question that is not asking me for a particular formula? What if I have something like, for example, this? example over here where it's asking they want to know which sales agent actually performed the best now here we can use spark lines insert spark lines to do that mario in january made 8600 but in february he only made 623 and then in March, he did even worse. So, but if we look at Brandon at the bottom, Brandon made 2,007 in Jan. He only made 17 Rand in Feb, but he made up for that for both months in March when he made 8,000. So we expect Brandon's performance to go up while Mario's performance goes down. The same Zandile's performance also went down 
and Felicia's performance in fact also went up. So that is the kind of trend that we want to see and we're going to use spark lines to do that. What we're going to do is very simple, you're going to click on insert and then you're going to choose which spark line option do you prefer. If we use the column option, it's going to ask us, in fact, if, even if you use a line option, they're going to ask us what is the data range. Okay, this is my data range. And what is the location? I've already clicked inside of the location. You click on a click OK, and then you're going to get your answer. Copy the formula down. But to make it even clearer, you are going, you can make your, 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 your rows bigger because then your results will start to make more sense. And there we can clearly see Mario's performance went down, Zandile's performance went down, Felicia's performance went up, and Brandon's performance went really, really up. So if we want to then change the particular line, we can also just go from a column to a line. And there you can also see high in the beginning, low at the end. High in the beginning, low at the end, low in the beginning, high in the end, low in the beginning, quite a substantial increase in the end. What you can also do is you can indicate what is the highest point and what is the lowest point. You can also indicate what is the negative points and you can choose from the options over here. All right, to change that, red, black, blue. What you can also do is, like for example, if you do the column, then it shows the red and blue quite uh, more clearly. So that is how you would, in a nutshell, do a, a spark line. A spark line is extremely easy. So you just do the range and it will make your rows bigger and it will clearly indicate what your spark line is. Alternatively, if, they're only, if you're only working in one particular column, you can use the repetition formula to do the, the spark line option or to show your data in a different type of chart. Um, and this is, and, uh, yeah, that's a different way of showing your, your data in a, in a chart form. So thank you students for watching. And join me in the next video where we, where we will be discussing question 8, which is text functions. Thank you so much for watching.